Welcome to episode six of Randy's Office. Today we're going to look at OneDrive and Office Online, which are part of your Microsoft account. And uh, if you have a paid uh, Office 365 account or a free educational version, you get one terabyte of OneDrive storage, which is a huge amount. And Office Online are the uh, Office 365 browser based apps. So very similar to the desktop version of Office 365, except they're just not as robust. Not as many features, but still a great part uh, of your Microsoft Office account. So let's take a look at Microsoft OneDrive and Office Online. When you log into office.com with your Microsoft account, this is the environment that you'll see. It displays the different apps that are available, and these will be uh, your online apps. Uh, it display, you're able to install Office 365 desktop apps from here and different options, able to upload files or create new files, and down below it shows uh, recent documents that you've used. So up in the upper left-hand corner is the list of apps button, and that also displays these apps. So I'm going to go ahead and select OneDrive, which is going to take us to OneDrive, which is the cloud storage area. This is this also syncs to your desktop and shows up in the file explorer. I've set up my OneDrive so that all these files sync so I can work on these, which I normally do in the desktop environment, open them up. And as that does, as I do that, it syncs to the cloud environment over here and it pushes to other devices that you have connected. So you can have your OneDrive connected to multiple uh, devices, a desktop, a laptop, your phone, other mobile devices, and it syncs between all of those seamlessly, which is one of the huge advantages of using OneDrive. Down here in the system tray are my different OneDrive accounts. I have three different OneDrive accounts here, and uh, and you can set up which folders to sync. If you want all your folders syncing or just some of them, I'm going to go ahead and select one of these here, and if I go to my settings, I'm able to, I'm able to add other OneDrive accounts or choose folders to sync. So I, I don't have in this particular account, I'm not syncing all my folders up um, with the, uh, that are in the cloud on my desktop just to save space on my computer. So, uh, so that's how you do that. I'm going to go ahead and close that, minimize, minimize that. Um, when you're in the OneDrive, you can create new folders in here, choose a folder or Word or any type of Word document, and this would be an online. It would open up in Word online or Excel online. Um, as you select a folder here, you have options of sharing. You can share the folder or copy a sharing link. You delete it or move, kind of like you do in your file explorer on your desktop. Um, as you select different files, there's different options. So this one here allows me to open this in Excel or in the desktop version of Excel or the online version. Again, I can share it, move it. So if I want to move a couple of these files, I could take these two files and move them to this projects folder just by clicking move, select the location to move those. And I'll go ahead and move them to the projects folder and move them there. And it moves them in this folder. So I can click on that and there they are. I can click back here to go to my files to get back to my main root folder. Um, over here is navigational structure of recent files and those that are shared. Um, if I click on a um, document in here, this is an Excel document, it's going to open in Excel online. And what you'll see is Excel online is very similar to the desktop version, except it's not as robust in features. I can always click open in Excel and that would take me to, it would open this document or this file up in the uh, desktop application. But you'll look and see, I can edit in here and it would save and it would sync to my computer, even though I'm working in the cloud version of this, sync to my computer and other areas that I uh, have OneDrive connected. So I'm going to go ahead and close close that and go back to OneDrive here. Um, one of the biggest features about OneDrive is the ability to share. So really, really nice feature. So if I want to share a folder, if I want to share everything like in here, I have a lot of information, lots of folders, and now I can share that entire folder or I can just share an individual file. So if I select the file again by clicking the circle to the left and checking that, um, all your options come up at the top up here. So again, able to do um, pretty much everything you do in a file explorer window. The, uh, the share is very nice. So I can go ahead and click on the share button 
and it opens this, this send link window and it gives me quite a few options. So starting at the top here, I can click on this and say, who do I want to share this with? Um, normally I want to share it with anyone because I don't want them to be limited to my uh, OneDrive account or people with just the OneDrive account. So I'm going to go ahead and say with anyone you could do with specific people, uh, people with existing access that you've given access to, but I usually just use this one, anyone with the link. And then down here, then I get a control if they if I want them to be able to edit the file or if I deselect that, it um, turns that off where they can just view the file and not edit it. I can set an expiration date on this sharing link. So at a certain point, it just goes away and is no longer active. If, uh, if I have the allow editing deselected, so it's a view only file, I could even block the download. I could say, no, I don't want the person to download. I just want them to be able to see it and that's it. So, but I'm going to go ahead and say allow editing with anyone with this link and then I'll go ahead and apply. Now I could do this. I could share a couple different ways. I can type in an email address here and type in a little message and just send it and it automatically generates a message and sends to that recipient. I can also uh, copy a link. And so I've already had my link settings. Anyone, anyone with a link can edit this now. I can copy the link and it's going to create a link here that I can copy and then I can email that link to somebody. I could paste it in an online location and, uh, and, and do that do that multiple ways. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And now that link is created. If I wanted to manage that, I can go over to the info pane over here and manage the access of who has access to this. So this is an edit link. If I want to copy it, I could do that. If I want to get rid of it, I can do that or stop sharing the file. So you can control that over here. If you want to grant access to others and just create a, uh, a view only link, you could have that. You could have a view only and an edit link for the same file. So that's OneDrive, really, really good. Office Online, again, is, is very similar to um, the desktop version, and you can open any files that you have in Office Online or create a new one. So if I go back, if I deselect that, I can go here and create a new Word document that opens up in Word Online. And again, you'll see it looks very similar. I can click on, I can go back, I click the list of apps here or click the back button to go back to OneDrive. And you'll notice that that document was saved. It was given a name here, just a default name. Um, but that's the OneDrive environment. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions or if I can help any way, please feel free to email me. Have a great day.